Hey YouTube, I hope everyone out there is having a blessed day today. Um, I'm coming on here real quick to talk about something that I've been needing to talk about. It's very, very important um, to me. Um, if you've been here along with me on my journey or if it's your first time seeing me, thank you. I appreciate you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And I appreciate all the donations. Um, but today we are going to talk about the system. Um, and when I speak of the system, I'm talking about the prison system, jail system, food stamps, um, TANF, um, cash assistance, uh, daycare assistance. I'm talking about the system, all of it, school system, all of it. Um, this video I might have to come back to because I did not take any notes, but I have my notepad here. Um, I'm just going off the dome, um, from personal experience. Um, and if any of you guys out there are utilizing any of those resources, I am not knocking because I've been there. I done that. Um, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, um, how the system is set up to make you think and feel like they are providing for you like they're a good resource for you and they're everything that you need but at the same time that system is designed to break up homes um and what i mean by that is that if you are receiving food stamps and as a female and you have a man in the household that causes a problem. If you are receiving housing assistance and you have a man in the household, that causes a problem. You might get a decrease in benefits or they are very much so into your business. If you are on housing and you have a man in the home, sometimes it is almost impossible to even get that um because it's designed to separate you guys and cause you to think that you don't need a man um to think that to make us women feel like we don't need a man and when i was raised that's what i seen i see my grandmother struggling i seen my mom struggling when i finally met her and she was living off of food stamps and back in the day you know we had those little paper food stamps looking like dollar bills you know now we not stepped the game up and we got the cards even for wick you know um but anyways uh when you are on those things, it's designed to make the woman feel as if she doesn't need a man. And as far as the prison system goes, um, a lot of the things that our um, significant others get charged with um, are things that are so funny because the pharmaceutical company is one of the biggest drug dealers out here just just pimping just selling them drugs slanging them drugs legally you know drugs that are harming us they can prescribe you a prescription pill and you know charge us however much for that bottle of prescription pills but let you go sell them on the street you're getting locked up they ain't letting you out you know marijuana marijuana it's a drug oh it's so bad it causes so much harm but yet you can go buy some from from their uh dispensary their dispensary and it's okay you know as long as you have that marijuana license they profit and capitalize off of all of these things but if you decide to be a street pharmaceutical you know uh hustler a drug dealer or whatever you're going down okay so you have to really really take a step back and look at all these things and look at the way the world is designed even to the school system i had said long ago my kids will be homeschooled and that's how i feel and i stand on that not just on the shootings and all those things it's just the school system Back in the day, um, we were taught things that was necessary. And I'm not saying that school doesn't provide proper education, but it's a pr prison system in itself. It's a jail system. It's teaching you to go out there and work for them. Even your college degrees and things. Sometimes people go to college and get degrees and can't even find a job or they have to pay back that big ass loan excuse my french that they got you know to go to these things and i'm not telling anybody that you can't be successful without uh having those things because yes you can you can do it but these systems are designed to take you down um you will get a felony for selling the same things that they 
provide to us for money. And then when you get that felony, you can't get a job anymore. You can't get a job. You can't get a good job, a job that's going to provide for your family. But when you decide to think for yourselves, break out of that system, the matrix, whatever you want to call it. When you decide to think for yourself, they make it hard for you. Even homeschooling your children or deciding not to get vaccinations, they make it hard for you. If you want to have a midwife, if you want to have a doula, if you want to have a home birth, it's like they try to take all your power from you. But once you decide to stand up and you decide to take your power back, oh goodness, you got to fight. But you got to be strong enough to do these things and to think for yourselves because everything is a setup. It's a setup up to make you feel reliant on their system and I just sit and I look back because I've been car incarcerated before not that long not that long and I don't want to go back you know but I've been in there before and they charge you for your necessities you know the toilet paper the soap the this the that they charge you to even be housed there why are you charging me to be in jail I don't want to be here I don't, don't want to be here you know it's, it's, it's crazy but um even food stamps and cash assistance, they throw you a little $200 or whatever it is. And that's supposed to allow you to do what you need to do. It's not enough. And then if you get a job, they cut that down. So even Social Security, disability, if you want to go out and get a job, oh, no, 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 no. You got to be self-reliant solely on the system. And... I'm not even going to talk about that right now because that's going to be another video for you. And I'm probably going to make that video right after this one because that's very, very important to me too to speak about. Um, I am here for my ancestors and everything that my ancestors fought for, I stand on it. I stand on it because we have came a long way. We have came a long way, but we need the proper knowledge. And with lack of knowledge, you guys don't know a lot of things like owning land and, you know, you need land. Because you don't really own nothing. You need your own land. You got to own your own. You got to own your own stuff. Stocks, investing and things like that. And, and how the bank takes your money. And sometimes you can't even get your money out the bank. They freeze your assets and stuff. You can't even get your own money. I remember when the bank put a block on my account and told me that I could only withdraw X amount from my money. Huh? My money? what okay no no sir ain't got time for it but anyways back to food stamps and stuff like um when you get on that stuff it it, it just it, it takes all your power from you and it separates and divides the households and, and and for a long time yes women have had to be strong and carry the weight of, of the world on your shoulders but that's what it's designed to do it's designed to break up the households and then when it puts your partner in prison you're spending money to keep them afloat as well they're in there sometimes working and slaving too when they're on work release and it, it's really, really sad. I was dealing with someone who was in work release and he was having to pay to be in there. They were taking a large portion of his check and then he was having to buy all his needs as well in there. The foods he needed or if you want to eat the slop because it's slop. It's disgusting. And who wants to eat that? The dirty water and all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But this system is just, it's just disgusting. And you really have to take your power back. You really, really have to take your power back. Start your own business. Stop living for somebody else's dream. And I know it might sound hard, but trust me, it's not because I did it. It's not. It's not hard. It's, it's just lack of, of proper knowledge. And Google, it'll guide you. Google will guide you on what you need to do to get off of these things and become self-sufficient out here. Because it's not for you. The system ain't for you. Housing ain't for you. Look at look at the housing buildings that they put you in. There's no windows with no sunlight. They put you in the most work, the horrible place in town. Like it's horrible. It's it's a whole bunch of they and they and they, and they confined. They put so many of you guys in one little spot to keep you stuck. Not probably don't even got to park out there. And if you do, it's trash. It's trash. It's condoms on the ground liquor bottles drunks here crackheads here maybe probably a liquor store on the corner 17 million churches you know it is just it's just put in the most disgusting of places but at some point you have to decide to take your power back and you have to decide to look at the system and see that it's just not designed for us it's designed to hold us back from our full potential and from us to grow like 
No. And at one point, I was self-reliant on all that stuff. But it's like, no, it's time to break free from that. In school, I never really liked it. I never really liked that. That bell, ding, ding, ding. Oh, if you don't get there on time, there's your fine. There's your fine. Ugh, you're going to the principal's office and I'm going to suspend you. Or It's like, no. And it's like 35 kids in one classroom, one teacher. She there for the money. She ain't even really trying to help you grow sometimes. And I commend all those teachers that are there to help the kids and they actually are devoted to to seeing the kids be better but a lot of them are there just for the money to to, to sustain their household even down to the cops pulling us over why do i have to have insurance and registration all those things on my vehicle that i own and you can pull me over if i don't have those things but i own this vehicle why do i just want to go out and get in a wreck and crash my vehicle i mean really think about it who really wants to go out there and tear up their own vehicle you know it doesn't make any sense you know identification i get it but i don't get it because all these things are a way for them to capitalize and get that moolah off of you you know, birth certificate, t moolah, it's, and it's their way to track every single move that you make, even our phones, you know, they're tracking everything you do, but it's their way to just keep tabs on you, and you have to really, really start thinking, and I know this video is all over the place, but a lot of these things are very, very, very important for you to just stand up down to your kids being vaccinated and you being vaccinated and, and given things because you feel that that doctor has more knowledge than you so you allow these people to have control over your life and sometimes they don't have the best interest for you they do not have the best interest because I noticed that they'll give you a medication for one thing and then later on down the road you'll be sitting there late at night and you're watching the tv and it'll say um if you have uh, if you've taken some such and such and such and such, uh, well, it could cause, matter of fact, I was taking a birth control. This birth control told me that I could get chest hair, facial hair, have anal leakage, um, and matter of fact, one of my birth control, when I got it shot into me, it put big knots, big, big knots in birth control, stopping your cycle and things like that. And let me tell you something about birth control, baby. If, if 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 the creator, the most high, wants you to have that baby, you can have your tubes tied. You could be on birth control, all that. That baby coming because that baby has a mission here. That baby chose you. That baby has a mission here and that baby going to come through. If you abort that baby, trust me, baby, it's going to come, okay? You know, so these things are just designed for them to capitalize off of us. And you have to just really start doing your research and learn because none of these things are here to help you they're not it, it, it's a temporary fix to keep you stuck down and trapped in the matrix it's just keeping you trapped because i'm sorry but the way the food prices are now them little bit of food stamps that they giving people and guess what when all those systems fail because the government all that going away it's going away what you gonna do what you going to do when Social Security, disability, and all that stuff stop? Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do in the prison system? Like, making these people be their workhorses. Like, I really, really learned a lot with the guy that I was dating about that system and how jacked up it is, you know? Having them be their workhorses uh, out here working on the streets. And a lot of people say, do the crime, pay the time, all that. Only God can judge. Only God can judge. Only the most high. Only, like, you have no right to do that. I'm not saying, you know, people that murder and rape and all that stuff. But in other countries, they take it upon themselves to do what they need to do to those people. You know, there is no system put in place to, you know, they they handle their own business, you know. But um, I just came on here real quick to talk about those things and just get some of, um, some of you guys' brains working in um, even child support. Which is going to be another video, probably right after this one. Um, but uh, that's all I came on here to talk to you guys about is how these systems are designed to separate the homes. To just keep you guys apart and take the man, the driving force, uh, the, 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 the yin to the yang, the masculine and the feminine, which, you know, you embody both of those. But to take that energy from the home because children need both.
they need both and yes we we both embody the masculine and the phys in the uh feminine but a lot of women out here say i don't need a man i got this i can do this by myself you know and then the kids you know the kids you know um and I just want you guys to think, and that is all um, I'm going to talk about on this video right here. I appreciate you for spending your time with me. Um, I'm going to put out a lot more uh, videos. I had a lot going on. Um, a lot, you know. Sometimes I got to, yeah. But um, I appreciate you for watching me and following me along on my journey here. Um, my Cash App information is going to be in the description box below um and i hope each and every one of you have a blessed weekend you know thank you